the second of the week's Moore's Millions and his legs 12. And this one's half as exciting as the first leg. It'll be pretty good. It's four and a half miles, this one. And the top one is Sunday Mott for Thomas Rogers as a Badia Cezanne for David Robertson, Sensitive Jules Craig, and Enemy Flight. Darren Thompson, Debanche Man, Alex Cherry, Inga Bird, Darren Thompson, Victory Heights, David Hooley, Kentish, Craig Beckwith, Moonsail Tavern, David Robson, Bridgewell Leader, John Morgan, Dictate Ross Martin, Leland John's Gate, sorry, Channel's Gate for John Morgan, Ronaldo for Alex Cherry, Lexington Regal for Vinnie Gerard, Blue Penny, Martin Leland, Superior Ninja, Derek Hinton, Last Suspect, Ground Clutterbuck, Altona, Dan Hughes, Charlie Two, Thomas Rogers, Da Vinci, Paul Rhodes, Sonic to Dream, James Shea, and Taya Cobra. For B Fotheringham. So 22 of them then this time. And starting on a bend and away they go. You can see the first fence in the distance. And 22 of them to take on 31 fences. So this should be a action packed frills and spills event you would think. Which is what we've seen already today. And Channels Gate and Kentish are disputing the lead with enemy flight as they get to the first of the 31 and we've already lost one and it's blue penny so blue penny's out of the race at the very first fence as they get to the second it's a ditch and then all safely over that one that time so it's kentish then who's going to settle down on the, in the lead on the inside of channels gate then in the green jacket is lexington royal in third oh lexington regal sorry as they get over the next one all safely over that one, although the Bansher man was down on his nose at the back. And into the fourth, fence is going up thick and fast. And we see them all over that one, okay, as well. With Channels Gate now, the new leader, as they come up past the wooden post and past the big screen, and they'll swing out now left handed for another three circuits, I would think. And it's Channels Gate in the lead from Kentish in second and Lexington Regal third then enemy flight is four and Bridgewell leader is five then the grey dictate Ross is next then Ronaldo Warren a trap then Sunday Mott and Da Vinci Charlie two and Sonic to dream after that one then Superior Ninja in the pink jacket last suspect is after that one on the inside then comes Victory Heights one's quite wide on the track along with Altona the second of the greys sensitive Jules is next in the David Robertson pair, Zabadiah Cezanne and Moonsail Tavern with Inga Bird, Taya Cobra, and then finally De as they get to the next and the one that made the mistake that time was Kentish. They're all making their way down towards the next thing. Just lost the one so far, and that was Blue Penny. And we've lost another one now because Kentish is gone. So Kentish then got rid of the jockey pretty early that time on ship the pilot midway through the jump really and they come down towards the next end and Channels Gate is now being left clear in the lead by about four to enemy flight second as they get over that next one then Lexington Regal and Bridgewell leader and dictate Ross and then more really wide on the track Ronaldo Inga Bird is the back marker as they take the next they'll stream over that one nicely Channels Gate leads by two to Lexington Regal second, Enemy Flight third, and Bridgewell leader back in fourth, and then Dictate Ross five, then Superior Ninja Ronaldo now come across from the wide position, then comes Sonic to Dream and Last Suspect Sensitive Jules is going the shortest way around, Victory Heights is next, Da Vinci is going the longest way around, then Charlie two and Sunday Mott. Zubadar Cezanne ahead of the Grey Altona and the Bancherman and Moonsell Tavern and then finally Inga Bird and the pink jacketed Taya Cobra at the back as they get over number 10 we'll successfully negotiate that one and down to the next ditch over it they go with Channel Gate Channel's Gate Clear by two to Lexington Regal in second. A short run to the twelfth. Dictate Ross took that nicely in fourth. Channels gate and down to the next in front. Over it they go. You'll see the crowd giving them a bit of a wave as they come past. And 
quite excited, most of them. I'm going to go around twice again, yet they'll be worn out that crowd by the time the race is over. They keep that up. Anyway, it's Channel's Gate in front from Lexington Regal in second and Enemy Flight, Enemy Flight third. And there's a gap of about six lengths then to Superior Ninja and Dictate Ross. Then Bridgewell Lead is on the inside of Reynaldo. Uh, and then Sensitive Jewels, Victory Heights, and Last Suspect together. Then Zobadiah, Cezanne, and behind that one is. Uh, looks like Sonic to Dream, and a bit of a gap to Inga Bird and Charlie too. And the Banshee Man getting a little bit closer with Altona, the grey closest to us. And Moon South Tavern and Da Vinci's, they take the 14th. And Sunday Mott and Tacoba, just the back two. Channel's Gate over this ditch in front. Enemy Flight and Lexington Regal. Those three are a good six lengths clear of the rest of them. We are headed by a loose horse. We'll just had jump there by Dictate Ross, who's gone into a clear fourth now, and trying to close on that leading group of three as they get over number 17. And Channels Gate, Enemy Flight, Lexington Regal. That's the one, two, three. Gap of four then to Dictate Ross, who's being chased by a Superior Ninja. As they get over that one. Just beginning to string out a little bit now this field. Channel's gate. Inside the final two miles leads by two lengths to enemy flight and Lexington Regal. Six lengths more, well, four lengths back to Dictate Ross. Then Superior Ninja and Sensitive Jewels. Bridgewell leaders after that one. Then Victory Heights, Ronaldo. The last suspect, oh, went really wide, is Sonic to Dream. Uh, trying to cut itself back in again. It was quite wide on the track. For a few strides. Looking towards the back, Da Vinci has lost his place and is dropping out at the back with Sunday Mott as they take the next. All safe now with that one as well. Jumping, been pretty good, just lost the two so far. Get to this ditch, and they're all over that one as well. Channels Gate, Enemy Flight, and Lexington Regal. Those three, got it between them at the moment. They're over 22 fences now, and they get over the 23rd, actually 22nd, sorry, all over the 22nd, and there's the winning post. Big screen anyway, the winning post will be coming up shortly. There it is. Oh, let's see the big screen. And just one more circuit left then now. And we're not going dizzy. It's Charles Gate in the lead from Lexington Regal, second enemy flight third. Gap of four then back to Dictate Ross, who's five and Bridgewell Leader is six. Then Superior Ninja is seven and Sensitive Jewels is eight and Last Suspect is nine and Victory Heights is ten. Then Ronaldo after that one and Zoma Dias is and Banchaman and Charlie two and Sonic the Dream and Altona. And then Moon Sail, Tavern, Inga Bird and Taya Coba. Da Vinci and Sunday Mott are a little bit detached of the remainder. But it's Channel's Gate who's been pretty much in the lead throughout the race. Had enemy flight and Lexington Regal for company throughout the race as well as they get over number 23. Superior Ninja running right into fourth. Then Dictate Ross and Sensitive Jewels and Bridgewell leaders. They take that ditch. Horses that remain in the race all got over that one nicely. Over the next they go. Channel's Gate, driven into number 26 and gets over it really well. It's away from it when he's opened up by two lengths now to enemy flight and Lexington Regal. Here come the chasing pack. Victory Heights, Sensitive Jewel, Superior Ninja, Dictate Roth, Bridgewell Leader. Over that ditch they go and suddenly there's a leading bunch of about seven of them. I think there was a four there. Da Vinci's gone. And it's now Channel's Gate being pressed by Victory Heights and Sensitive Jewels. Lexington Regal is still there. So to his enemy flight, Superior Ninja, Dictate Roth still there as well. Bridgewell Leader's trying to run on. Then coming from the back is Zermanias and Moonsail Talon.
but it's Sensitive Jules who's in the lead. Sensitive Jules has hit the front end there from Victory Heights. Channel Gate trying to battle back. Dictate Ross trying to get up the inside. Then comes Last Suspect. Enemy flights after that one. Bridgewell leader goes past Lexington Regal who looks like it might have run its race. But it's Sensitive Jules in the lead. Channel's Gate fighting back. Then comes... Um, on the outside, Victory Heights, last suspect throwing down a big challenge, Dictate Ross staying on, then comes Bridgewell leader over, that one they go, that was the 28th, they've only got three more to take then now, and last suspect and Victory Heights have taken it off, last suspect on the outside of Victory Heights, Sensitive Jewels on the inside, Bridgewell leader and Channels Gate over, that one they go, Dictate Ross is after that one, but it's now Victory Heights in the lead, Victory Heights has taken it up from Bridgewell leader, Bridgewell leader now throwing down a big challenge as they come down towards the second last, over the second last they go, Bridgewell leader lands in the lead, from last Suspect and sensitive jewels. In comes Victory Hot. Sunday Mop was a fall at the back. But it's Bridgewell Leader coming down towards the final fence in. Bridgewell Leader goes straight through the top bit. Last suspect now comes up on the outside. And it's last suspect. Sensitive jewels on the inside. Last suspect. Bridgewell Leader. It's Bridgewell Leader it's just getting back up on Bridgewell Leader. Looks like he's going to take it. Up the line. It's going to be Bridgewell Leader that takes it. And last suspect. And then enemy flight with sensitive jewels and Lexington Regal. And the field will trail all the way back to Taya Cobra. And another thrilling finish. Sees Bridgewell leader take it. I think that's probably going to be John Morgan. Looks pretty much like it to me. It is indeed Bridgewell leader the winner for John Morgan. Last suspect second for Graham Clutterbuck. Enemy flight for Darren Thompson was third. Sensitive Jules for Craig Allen fourth. And Lexington Regal for Vinnie Gerrard stuck on to be fifth.